name is Srđa Popović and this is Everyday Rebellion. Our today tip is how you avoid violence. There are several reasons why you need nonviolent discipline to run a successful movement. First of all, by picking any kind of violence, you are actually opposing the government on its most powerful side, the side of the violent and oppressive forces. Second, you are doomed. When you look at the exam like Wild Civil Resistance Workbook, you will understand that you have twice more chances to win by having nonviolent struggle. Another reason is what you want out. When you look at the real results of violent and nonviolent struggle, you will understand that only 4% of violent uprising ended up in democracy looking at the five-year period. Compare this to the 42% of nonviolent struggles ended up in democracy. Well, it sounds very easy, but you know how to do it in practice. Well, you build your nonviolent discipline on three levels. First, you build it on the street. You brief people, you create a nonviolence, the real brand of this moment. For us in Serbia, for others in many different places, there were really the persuasive teams talking to the people, really thinking about how this glorious movement should be nonviolent and how it, it is a patriotic thing, you know, to take care of your town and how it is really important to build this relationship with security forces rather to do any violent acts. Second, you prepare people for this on the street. When you know that the risky situation where the violence can, can be outbreak exists, you train your people to sit down, to sing, you use a carnival atmosphere, you use drums. You also talk to the groups like priests to have them in front of the show so you make sure that there is no agent provocateurs or drunk people ready to start any violent activity. So many successful non-violent marches throughout the world were destroyed when one single idiot has thrown the stone. You don't want this to happen to your movement. So, I mean, you look at this stuff and you also understand how important it is to distance the movement from violent groups in society. And there were many of them. In Serbian society, you had soccer fans. They were so anti-regime and so eager to take the symbols, the clenched fist, but we were so clever not to give it to them. So think how to maintain the non-violent discipline. That should be the difference between the success and the failure. And, of course, have a nice day.